Hello and welcome to another Excel tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to select every other row in Excel that is every alternate row in Excel. Now there is no inbuilt functionality to do this in Excel but there are a couple of easy workarounds that you can use. So let's see how to do this. Let me start with the most basic one, which is to do this manually. I'm sure you already know this, but let me cover this method anyway. So in this case, I want to select store number two, four, six, and so on, which is row number three, row number five, row number seven. So in this case, I'm going to come and place my cursor here in row number three header. So you can see that the color has changed for this number three here and click on it. So it selects the entire row. Now hold the control key and then just go on selecting all these rows. And when you do that, it is going to keep the previous one selected and these new ones are added to the selection. So instantly you have all these rows that have been selected. Now doing this manually is not the best way to do this if you have a long data set because it would be very time consuming and it might also be error prone. Maybe you may, you would probably miss a couple of rows or maybe there would be some issues in selecting and you'll have to start over again. So this is not the best method for long data sets, but for short one for small data sets, you can use this method. Now what to do with long data sets? Let me show you. Here again, I have the same data set and what I'm going to do is use a helper column. So let me call this helper and I'm going to add some values here and based on those values, I'm going to filter this data. And once I filtered the data, I'll make sure that I only filter alternate rows and then I can quickly select them. So in this case, I'm going to use the is odd function and just use the row number. So what this does is it is going to give me whether the row number is odd or not. So if this is odd, it is going to give me true else it is going to give me false. In this case, you can see row number two is not odd. So it gave me false. But if I copy it for all these other cells in the column, I have these array, which is false and trues. Now I'm going to come here, apply uh, the filter. So I'm going to select any cell in this data set, go to the data tab and here click on the filter icon. So it has applied filter to the column headers. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control shift L. And now when I click here, I can choose whether I want to uh, filter this based on false or trues. Now in this case, I only want store number two, store number four and so on, which means I want only those records where the value is true. So I would come here, I would uncheck false, click OK, and I have these. Now, if I select all these rows, the thing with filter is it is only going to select these cells, not the ones that are not visible, only the one that are visible. So for example, if I copy this and I paste this data somewhere, let's say here, then it is only going to copy and paste the data that is visible. It is not going to paste the data that is not visible. So this works well for me, whatever I want to do here, for example, let's say I want to highlight these or I want to delete these, I can just do it here. And then once I'm done, let's say I want to highlight it. So let me highlight it. Now, once I'm done, I can remove the filter. So I come here, I click on clear filter and you'll see that only those rows that were visible, which are the alternate rows have been highlighted. So in this case, if you want to select every other row, then you cannot do it with the entire data set visible, but you can filter and select it. And it is equivalent to selecting every other row in this data set. Now, if you do not like this method and you want the entire data set to be visible, but still select every other row, let me show you how to do this using VBA. Here again, I have the same data set and I'm going to use a very simple VBA code to go through each of these rows and only select alternate rows. So in this case, I want to start selecting from row number three, which is store two. So I want to select this, then store four, six and so on. So to do that, I'm first going to select this data set. Now, this is very important because this code is only going to work on the selection. So make sure you select your data set. Then I have this code here that I'm going to copy and I'm also going to give you this code in the description of this video so you can copy and use this code. Now I'm going to click on the developer tab here and then click on visual basic. And when I do that, it opens the VB editor. You can also open the VB editor by using the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. So you hold the Alt key and press the F11 key. And again, it opens the VB editor. Also, if you do not see the developer tab in the ribbon, right click on any of these tabs, click on customize the ribbon. And here in the Excel options dialog box, make sure that this is checked. So the developer option is checked and click OK. So let me open the visual basic editor. Now, this is where I'm going to copy and paste the code, but I first need to insert a module. So I'm going to click on insert option in the menu, then click on module. As soon as I do this, it inserts this module 
and opens the code window for the mod module where I can paste the code. I've already copied the code, so I pasted it. Now, let me quickly explain what happens. Uh, I declare a couple of variables and here I set my range is equal to selection. So the selection that I have done here is set to a variable called my range and then this becomes the basis of my code. Now I first start by selecting row number three in the code and this is because I want to start my selection from store two which is in row number three and then I use a simple for next loop where it is going to go through every other row and select it. So you can see it says for i is equal to three to my range dot rows dot count, which means it knows how many rows are there in the selection. And then it steps through every other row. Step two means it is going to go through every other row. It is not going to go through every row, but every second row. And then it simply selects these. So if I run this code, see what happens. Let me bring this here. So this is my data set and to run this code, I can place the cursor anywhere and hit the F5 key or you can click on this green button, green uh, run sub routines uh, or run user form button. And when I do that, this code is going to run. See what happens as soon as I click on it, it instantly selects only every other row. So it removes the selection is removed and only alternate rows are selected. So this is again a very quick and fast way to do this. If you have a large data set, then you can use this simple VBA code to quickly select these cells, uh, select these alternate rows. And once you have, you have selected them, you can do whatever you want. Maybe you want to highlight them. Maybe you want to copy and paste them. Maybe you want to delete them. You can do that. Also, when working with VBA, I would always recommend make a backup copy of your work file because the changes that are done using VBA, in this case, we are not doing any changes, but in general, any changes that are done by VBA are irreversible. So you won't be able to undo it. So it's always a good idea to keep a backup copy. So these are three simple ways you can select every other row. You can do it manually, which is a long and tedious method, but only for small data sets. Uh, you can use the filter technique, which actually is pretty good. If you just want to uh, do a couple of operations on the selected row, such as delete them or hide highlight them and in case you still want to keep your entire data set visible and select every other row then you can use the VBA method. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also if you're liking these videos please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.